I will be showing you in this uh, little video how to import data. And so uh, there's a couple different ways. What I've done already is I've put my USB stick into my computer. It's been recognized. I've, I've opened it up. And we're going to do the easy button, and then we're going to learn how to plot the data. Okay. So first of all, there are two easy buttons. One is right here over workspace. And if you click on this, uh, it opens up this kind of thing. And I have to navigate to, of course, my, my file. Now, it only recognizes data, recognize data files, or we can say all files. And we notice that there's a couple other on there as well, PDF or waveform, which was recorded from the scope as well, but it's not recognized by MATLAB. And then we have four CSVs. And I'm going to open up this one using the easy button. And what's going to happen, it's going to open up a dialog. Notice that when it made this, it said X, channel one, second, volt. And so what this is telling us is that we have two columns of data. We can see this here. And the first one is time. The second one is channel one. Okay, That may make sense here in a little bit. But it's also importing this data right here in case you might find that important. I don't. So we're going to keep the data. We're going to lose the text data. And we're going to finish it off. And it appears right here, a 600 by 2 matrix. Okay, and that's kind of nice. Uh, and now we're free to plot this. So what I'm going to do, so first I'm going to plot the time data. So that's kind of nice. It gives us a time, st time stamp on that. And then I'm also going to plot, well, channel 1. And if we look, it's going to bring this up. And I had some kind of sine wave on there that was there. Now the nice part is that this time vector is actually right. If I were to just plot just channel 2, or just column 2 of this, as I looked at it. Well, it does this vector now in samples, not in time. And so we get, well, a meaningless x-axis, unless we know the sample rate. All right. Well, that was interesting. Let's import something else. I think I want to import this one, because this one has three columns of data. So what this is is seconds, volt, volt. So this gives us. Channel X is time, channel 1, channel 2. And once again, I don't care about the text data. We're gonna, we're, it's going to ask me if I want to overwrite, and I do. And so the data comes in. I'm going to plot the same way. By the way, all I did was I started the, the sentence, and then I pressed up arrow. And when it up arrows, it goes to the next one that's exactly as I typed it. And so you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff in my history that I can just type up to. Very handy, useful part of MATLAB. So I just plotted that. It didn't show up because there, oh, there it is. So this is figure one. This is just noise, apparently. But there's also, so I'm just going to go up arrow. There's also this third column, which was channel two data. And just to prove to you that they're different, we're going to plot channel one. I'm going to plot channel 2 in a different color. And sure enough, here we go, green and blue on the same one. Let's, let's sharpen this up just a little bit more since we know these things. I'm going to add an X label. And that gives us my misspelled label. That gives us this X label here. And I have Y label from previous one. You notice I just typed Y label and then up arrow, and it brought me that. And now I have this here. There's all sorts of other stuff we can do here, too. I have legend that I did before, too, channel 1 and channel 2. And it pops up right there. And one, one thing that's kind of nice about that is I can grab that, and I can place it anywhere I want. Okay, If I want to do dead center, which would be bad, but we'll, we can do that. There's also title. I'm just going to call this dummy data, is for a title. And so there, that popped up on the top. And so we can label these things. I think there's even a way to label this right-hand axis. Uh, but that's something a little bit beyond this course. And so that's how we would import data using the easy button. I'm going to follow this up with an import using a uh, command line option, which may seem kind of silly now, but there's a very powerful use for it.